So Joe Biden recently announced that America would be officially recognizing the Armenian genocide. And I feel that this is really important because of, well, why we didn't recognize it in the first place, which honestly was a terrible reason. It was because we wanted Turkey to be our NATO ally. And unfortunately in doing that, we basically had to appease them and said that we wouldn't recognize the atrocity committed by their past government the Young Turks, not even really the Ottoman Empire, the uh, transitionary government from the Ottoman Empire to the Republic of Turkey. And the reason why we didn't do that is because we wanted them to be a strong NATO ally against Russia, basically, because Turkey holds the key into the Mediterranean, basically Russia's gateway to the outside world, and appeasing them meant keeping Russia contained. But now why we haven't done that is I think it's mostly because of what the Turkish government has been doing in Syria. The Turkish government right now has basically just extended their influence into Syria uh, with really, really no regard for the actual people living there. Um, they've committed some atrocities there themselves. Um, I'm not saying that we're completely uh, free of that, but they are just extending their influence there and we don't like it. We want that influence to ourselves. We do not want them to have that influence there. And we're also pretty mad at their current leader, Erdogan, and his crackdown of journalists. And Erdogan has basically turned into an authoritarian dictator at this point, with his crackdowns on the press and his extension of his governmental powers. And it's really honestly crazy just how the modern Turkish government refuses to acknowledge that they had anything to do with the disappearance of the Armenians and that they're saying it wasn't a genocide. I mean, honestly, it's like if Germany said, oh, we, we didn't do anything in the 30s. It's, it's ridiculous and it really just needs to be called out. And I feel like we're calling it out now because we're saying to the Turks, we do not like your foreign policy. We want you to get in line with what we want. So basically what this actually says is unfortunately it really has nothing to do with the Armenians unfortunately and the truth about what happened. It has more to do with the breakdown of American and Turkish relations at this point. So if you guys liked that really short video, um, let me know if you did because I'm thinking of doing little quick news updates um, if, if you guys want that, you know, because I haven't really been able to make a lot of long videos. But if you guys want me to give you little news updates and my opinions on things, just let me know. Leave a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Leave a comment saying what you liked, what you didn't like about this. And if you want me to continue making videos like this. Thanks. So I know a lot of you are going to say uh, maybe the Artsakh conflict with Nagorno-Karabakh, or previously Nagorno-Karabakh, now Artsakh, and uh, the Republic of Azerbaijan have something to do with it. But I, I don't really think so because we're not really getting involved in that conflict. We haven't really made any big statements about that. Um, I think most of it has to do with Turkey. That Turkey still does. And my dog is going crazy.